If you've been enjoying the content, force crush that like button as it helps the channel a lot. Now on with the video. There are not a lot of mysteries left in the Star Wars universe. However, there are a select few, most of them being the fate of certain characters from the Clone Wars era. Such as what happened to the fallen Jedi Barriss Afi after she fell to the dark side of the Force and turned her back on the Jedi as well as her close friend Ahsoka. The last we saw of Barriss she was being in prison for her crimes, but there is no mention of her afterwards. Another major character that we haven't heard from in this era is clone trooper commander Cody, one of the first clone troopers that we were ever introduced to. When we last saw Cody, he was attempting to shoot down his Jedi general Obi-Wan Kenobi on Utapau. After this, we do not see or hear from Cody, and although his story was expanded upon in Star Wars Legends, in canon we know very little. The very last rumor that we have from canon about Cody is that he was later sent to the Wookiee homeworld of Kashi in order to help the Empire enslave the Wookiees, as Cody's clone trooper battalion was changed into the stormtrooper battalion the 212th. And Cody was one of the first ever clone troopers to become a stormtrooper. In canon though, Dave Filoni, the creator of Star Wars Rebels and head of Clone Wars, did indicate that at one point in time, Cody was going to appear in Rebels, and was going to appear as one of the main villains of an episode, in the process confirming that Cody was still operating for the Empire during this time period, being around a year before the events of Star Wars A New Hope and that unlike the troopers like Rex and Wolf, he had not removed his inhibitor chip. The episode would have been in Season 2, where Thrawn would be battling the Rebel crew and realized that several of them were clones of Jango Fett, and clones that had survived past the Clone Wars conflict. Thrawn would realize how skilled at war the clones were and desired to learn more about them, therefore reaching out to the old and grizzled Commander Cody. Obviously Thrawn would do this in an effort to learn all he could about this new enemy in the clones, and eventually use Cody against them. This though was ultimately scrapped as a storyline, as they believed it did not fit well enough into the story they were telling, and did not want to overwhelm the audience with returning characters. In direct contrast to this, I love the idea of Cody returning as a villain of Rebels, and the clones having to battle against them along with Thrawn. It would have given Rex a clear rival in his old friend, and could have shown us how the clones felt about their brothers that still served the Empire. I imagine it would have been very similar to Ahsoka realizing that Anakin is Darth Vader, the idea that their closest friend and confidant are slaves to the Empire. As far as how Cody's story was going to end in Star Wars Rebels, it is unknown, and we don't even know the finer details of his appearance, only that the idea was ultimately scrapped. Beyond Rebels, I would still love to see the story of Cody resolved one day, and hope he is not just some forgotten Star Wars character. I think it would be really interesting to see a story revolving around him and his time in the Empire directly after Revenge of the Sith. And if the rumors that Clone Wars will be getting a sequel following the Bad Batch are true, I think it would be very interesting to have Cody appear, and would be shocked if he doesn't appear on some level. Anyway my friends, what are your thoughts on this, and this deleted concept of Cody appearing in Star Wars Rebels? Do you wish that they had kept the storyline in Rebels, or do you think it was a good idea to cut it? As always my friends, thank you guys so much for watching, may the force be with you, and have a great day.